Welcome back to Bottom Deck Achievements, a Hearthstone achievement hunting series. And folks, we got a balance patch. And uh, not just nerfed cards this time. In addition to five cards that got nerfed slightly, uh, we also have ten cards that got buffed. Now, myself, being a little bit of a critical thinker, uh, took it upon myself to try to suss out which cards were going to be buffed, and I thought to myself, surely... Surely the caravans, right? Like, if you're buffing 10 cards, why not this cycle of 5 that are printed at rare rarity that are seeing next to no play, and when they are played, they have terrible win rates and are being hailed by uh, many people as being some of the weakest cards in the set. Surely those are prime targets for buffs, right? Well, unfortunately, come patch notes day, uh, the caravans were absent and they weren't touched. Um, and I was going to cover uh, which caravan is right for you, but they're still all bad. So so this week, we're going to cover which caravan is right for you, even though they all suck and are still all bad. So, so the caravan cards are so bad because they are two cost, one threes, uh, which is a poor stat line for two cost. And in order to get any value from them, they have to live until the start of your next turn, in which they do some kind of effect. Uh, and some of the effects you can't even make use of that turn. Um, so the most played ones in order, uh, from most to least played, are the Priest one, which copies a spell from your opponent's deck. Uh, the second most played one is the Paladin one, which summons two Silver Hand recruits. In third place is the Shaman one, which draws you a Murloc from your deck. Uh, coming in at number four is the hunter one which buffs all the minions in your hand by plus one plus one and at number five uh a card played so little that i had to click the show sparse data uh button on hs replay uh is the warlock one which uh summons a one drop from your deck uh so that's the order that they're played in but when you look at the win rates uh the shaman one actually comes out on top at uh it was just slightly below 50 percent win rate but when i checked it again today it's at 50.5% win rate, so I'm actually really shocked that a, a Shaman deck, uh, some kind of an archetype with these these bad cards in them, uh, has managed to barely reach 50%, so that's kind of exciting. Uh, the Paladin one coming in at number two. Uh, there are some dude synergies you can pair it with if you can get it to live. Uh, the Hunter one coming in third place. This was surprising to me. 46.5% win rate for the deck. Uh, Priest, even though being the most played, is sitting at 43.7% win rate, and poor, poor Zoo Warlock summoning one drops that don't matter from your deck, coming in at 37.5%. So, uh, what I think I'm going to do for this one is I'm going to skip the three lowest ones, and I've built decks for Paladin and Shaman to see if uh, we can actually make use of some of these caravans while uh, going for the achievement. And speaking of achievements, I have a single one that I need to claim. Well, folks, I finally did it. Uh, I destroyed 30 minions with Kurtris Ashfallen without ever having to craft him. So I'm going to be super, super sad if I crack him in some of my month-end packs uh, when I open those. Uh, but hey, we did it. I still have a long way to go for the sigils. Um, I've been working at some other stuff. Uh, here and there. Um, but I got some work to do still. Uh, so, just to show off, the one that we are going to be working on today is Life is a Highway. Start 10, 40, and 100 turns with a caravan. I've only done three since the set came out, so hopefully we can do some work on this today. Um, and as far as other synergies, uh, the Shaman class actually has a an achievement for destroying 50 enemies with Murlocs. So, we can get there as well. Uh, also note that uh, Murloc Shaman is actually a pretty good deck in Wild, uh, but Wild has so many more tools to draw Murlocs and to play more Murlocs more efficiently that the Caravan is just completely out of the question for that one. So we're only going to be looking at Standard today for these. So, I have one more achievement. Oh, I do. Oh, right, because I crafted Firemancer Flurgle for this. Cool. Alright, uh, well, let's hop into the decks and uh, see what we can do. Here is the Paladin list that I built. Uh, we have our two copies of Soldier's Caravan, which, like I said earlier, plays two 1-1 Silverhand recruits. Uh, 
just for free at the start of your turn. It's kind of unfortunate because even though you're happy to have them on the board, they can't attack or do anything that turn, which is a little unfortunate. So um, we're going to see what we can do here. I've filled it out with as much dude synergy as I could find. Uh, we got war the recently buffed, actually, for the core set, Warhorse Trainer, uh, which is a monster of a card in Odd Paladin and Wild. Uh, we got, let's see, where's the other new one? Pursuit of Justice uh, gives a permanent buff to all Silverhand recruits that you summon this game. Uh, Lothraxian the Redeemed, which is also pretty good in Odd Paladin. You give Divine Shield to just your Silverhand recruits for the rest of the game, which is pretty solid, actually. Uh, and then we have other uh, good cards for Paladin, like Conviction, and we got the classic uh, Blessing of Kings in here for some extra damage to push. Uh, and other than that, just kind of your some of your standard stuff. We have a little bit of Librem stuff going on with the... Uh, Let's see, Libram of Wisdom and the Aldor Attendant. I don't think... Yeah, we did put the Taunt guy in there. So, we'll see what we can do here. Um, I don't foresee this one being really good because... Even though Paladin is the best class in Standard right now, uh, the dude synergies are not what makes Paladin really good. Uh, but re regardless, let's see what we can do with this list. My blade burns with holy okay, fire. I found my caravan this time. With honor. This is good. Reinforcements incoming. This is legitimate prayer. Just please don't hand of a doll that thing and kill my caravan. Hiss! That's what I said not to do. <laughs> They'll think about it twice if they have to sacrifice their precious, precious raven. Oh. God, these caravans do suck. It's such garbage. Ooh, there's my caravan. Okay. Uh Unfortunately, this is just too good of a play, I think. It's going to trigger spell burst though. That's unfortunate. Tell you what. Reinforcements incoming. Okay. Please don't hysteria, my guy. Okay. No, no, don't do it. Okay. They let my caravan live. They let my caravan live! <laughs> I actually got a tick for the achievement. Okay, um... If this caravan lives one more turn, that's gonna be an obscenely good... Okay. No! <laughs> Demon Hunter being able to do three damage out of nowhere? <laughs> Unlikely. Come on. We got our caravan. I'm gonna coin out caravan on turn one. And if it still doesn't get through, I'm throwing this deck in the garbage. If this caravan doesn't get through, it is indeed hopeless. Coined out on turn one has to survive, right? Twin Slice isn't even in standard anymore. I think that might be the only way. Okay, I think we got it through. Okay. We did it. We did it, gang. That is so disgusting. There is no okay. This is over. The battle. Oh. 
that three that five, that six three ones with divine shield turn was so disgusting. Oh, wind streak, cool. Okay, so so let's see. So that was I think that was five games in which only in two of them we got a caravan through one turn each time leading meaning there's like a 40% chance that you'll get a single tick towards your achievement thing. It's not great. Um, but overall, like that was actually kind of fun. I've always liked dude Paladin. Odd Paladin was like my go-to in wild for a long time. That's was like my main laddering deck for a real long time. I still have an odd Paladin list. Hasn't been updated, but I still have one. Uh, but let's dig into the Murloc list that I built. Uh, I did build a list myself and then compared to one off of HS Replay, and they were very close, uh, just with a couple of changes. Uh, I initially had uh, Lightning Bloom in the deck, but the curve is so low that I don't think you need it. Um, I put in Circus Amalgam just to have like slightly larger bodies in the deck as well, as well as to have a little more top end than just Felfin Navigator. Um, let's see, what else, what else, what else? I did, like I said, I crafted Firemancer Flurgle. Uh, Devolving Missiles, just in case anything with big with Taunt gets in the way. And the rest is pretty much just, is it a Murloc that's in Standard? Yes, put it in the deck. Uh, so we'll see how this goes. Uh, and like I said, the Caravan is, at the start of your turn, draw a Murloc. So it's something that you can actually get uh, some use out of the turn that this pops. So I'm a little more excited about this one. I'm hoping that we'll have a bit more of a faster start to hopefully win the board over to keep Caravan alive. But we'll see. Let's hop into a game. Alright. We kept one beefy boy. Oh god. If they really wanted to mess with me, they should have frenzied out, frenzied out the Sunscale. <gasps> we found one. Found a caravan. Please don't kill it. There's there's so many better targets to to kill. Just leave my one three alone, please. Ooh, interesting. I have not seen this. Wait, <gasps> I get a I get a fresh hand. Wow, look at my options. I might actually get a second turn with the caravan in this one. That would be huge. Okay, yes, yes, yes. Turn number two with Caravan, let's go. Okay, um, Magic Fin is interesting. I forgot about this card. You're at zero out of, yeah. Can I get can I get a third turn with the caravan? Probably not. But one has to hope, right? Burned. Ah, rip. That oh, that's terrifying, actually. What did you just do? I might actually be dead this next turn. No. Oh, that doesn't quite get me there. It's tragic. We've got two turns with the caravan, though. That felt good. I think I might magic fin on turn three. Yes, yes, yes. All right, yeah, definitely Magic Fin. <laughs> it's an interesting noise when it comes in. Uh, this looks like a good board to Devolving Missiles. Oh, it's unfortunate.
both copies of nothing? That's kind of disgusting. <laughs> Yo, Magic Fin is such a fun card. Where have you been? Why haven't I ever thought of you before today? You're in my school now. Oh god. Please go face. Or kill the 1-1. One, one. Oh, this is fine. Okay. Uh, Wow. Wow, this is actually really good. Do I have lethal? 7, 10. Yeah. Holy smokes. Magic Fin also makes a slide whistle noise. It's so good. The Magic Fin is like my new favorite card. I love this guy. Well, I've played a couple games with each deck, and uh, I have some thoughts on both of them. The Paladin list seemed okay. It just seemed like a less refined version of a good Paladin deck. Uh, but dude stuff is just fun to mess around with, especially when it's not super meta like it isn't right now. Um, as far as the Caravan goes, uh, I had terrible luck finding the Caravan with a Paladin deck. Uh, I think I only got uh, one tick in two different games of the five games I played, uh, so that wasn't great. Uh, the Shaman Murloc list, uh, I felt like I had a much easier time defending the Caravan. Uh, it also helped that I found it in my opening hand a couple times when I was on the coin, so I could get it out on turn one. Uh, I had multiple games where I got multiple card draws off of the Caravan, and that felt really good. Uh, overall, uh, this achievement is going to take a long time to get level three of. Uh, in the 8, 9, or 10. I forget how many games I, I actually played today, but I only barely got the first level of the Caravan achievement. So, a long way to go still, but uh, I am having fun with the Murlocs, at least, uh, in Shaman. Uh, it still doesn't feel super, super great, and like the last game I played, uh, you can just totally run out of steam against something much better than you. What else did I pop here? Probably like play a bunch of Murlocs, right? Oh, cast Holy Spells. Okay, uh, how are we doing on, let me just check real quick, the Shaman. Oh, we're halfway done with the kill enemies with Murlocs, so that's good. That seems like it shouldn't be too difficult of one. Um, I'm interested into going into Wild to play some hyper-aggressive Murloc Shaman there. Uh, this achievement will probably get done in no time there. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to keep working at these. Uh, we'll see how fast of progress I can make. Uh, I would almost expect there to be some more caravans in the mini set, which should be coming out within the next couple weeks, I would assume. Uh, so we might see some more caravan support there. Who knows? Maybe the other five. Uh, maybe they'll actually find some designs that are make them worth playing. Uh, but until then... Uh, and just keep plugging away at these. So that is going to do it for me today. Uh, if you like the video, please feel free to like and subscribe uh, if you'd so choose to do so. And uh, if there are any tough looking achievements that you'd like to see covered in a future video, please feel free to leave those in a comment below. Uh, if you want to be where I'm at most of the time, follow me on Twitter and Twitch. It is at HeyTallman at both places. And uh, yeah, I think that's going to about wrap it up. So take easy. Thank you for watching. And may the card you need the most never be at the bottom of your deck.